Hey, thinking about moving to Naples, Florida? Got a great community for you. Probably the most sought after, most searched uh, city or community, sorry, in all of Naples. It's Pelican Bay. 88 acres, pristine beaches, mangroves, all types of different types of home sites. So we got a lot of ground to cover. It's going to be a cool video. We're going to do a Google Earth uh, map tour. So a lot of 3D effects, stuff like that. I think you'll really enjoy it. Let's go. First time to the channel, please subscribe, please tap the bell for notifications. Hi, my name is Randy Curtis. I'm with eXp Realty. Every day I get contacted from people all over the country looking to move to uh, Naples, Florida for good reason. It's absolutely beautiful here. I live here, family lives here. We absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move in the next, say, 9 to 90 days, feel free. Reach out. Text me, call me, email me, uh, schedule a live Zoom chat, anything you need. Just want to help you potentially make a smooth move here to Naples, Florida. All right, so we are going to share with you Pelican Bay, great community in North Naples. We're kind of zooming in here on uh, Google Earth. Pelican Bay is in North Naples, uh, just a great community and a fantastic location. So my goal and intent in this video is to, sh to share with you all that I personally know about Pelican Bay, uh, some insights that I have for being a real estate agent here. Um, and then just share with you things that you can do around in, well, inside the community and right around the community as far as put great places to eat, great, great places to shop, where you may think about going to have some, some fun, a uh, little bit of nightlife, where possibly your kids may go to school. So let's kind of dive right in. Uh, first, Pelican Bay is a phenomenal location right on the Gulf, three miles of pristine white sand beach, 88 acres of parks and a mangrove forest so anchored by just a beautiful 27 hole golf course inside of pelican bay uh, pelican bay is a hoa private community although it's not gated so you're able to go in there but some of the communities are actually uh, uh, gated inside there's 95 um, unique distinct hoas within uh, pelican bay i would imagine that Pelican Bay is one of the most sought after, if not the most sought after community in all of Naples, um, highly searched. And so, yeah, no, just really looking forward to kind of diving in and being able to share with you uh, some information. So it's the four corners. Let's start with the four corners of uh, Pelican Bay. To the north is you have Vanderbilt Beach, with which dead ends into uh, Vanderbilt Beach there. And then to the south is you have uh, Pine Ridge, which dead ends right into the beach over at Clam Pass Park. So let's start with the four corners of Pelican Bay. The top north on the uh, east coast side is Mercado. So Mercado uh, Shopping Center. If you've done your research or you're looking into Florida for the next time or looking into Naples, you will surely hear about Mercado. So it's one of the top 10 destinations, you know, in Naples, you obviously got the pier, you got Fifth Avenue South for fine dining and shopping. And then you'll come across Mercado as well. So Mercado is a really unique, right in the middle is um, you have a street there and the shops line both sides of the street and you can you can drive through it then obviously you can get out and you can walk but it has whole foods um it'll have a nordstrom rack there's tommy bahama there's z gallery there's ulta beauty there's a great movie theater in there there are great restaurants and bars there with nightlife and then actually it's unique on top are uh, condos and properties and res residences and it's surrounded by multi-million dollar uh, residences actually behind it. So if we go over to the northwest is you have Pelican Bay is anchored by um, the Ritz Carlton. The Ritz Carlton, obviously it's a beautiful hotel there. And it's actually one of the very first places that we went to when we arrived in Naples. We went to Vanderbilt Beach in January uh, not too many people, were, I think we were the only ones out on the beach. It was like 55 degrees. So in Naples, that's freezing. So everybody was in and we we're like, heck, let's go out for us. It was nothing. We're walking along the beach and stumbled across 
the Ritz Carlton there. And right on, pretty close to the sand, is a place where you can go, great doc cocktails and, you know, like, you know, different snacks and stuff there. And uh, so it's a great place to be able to go. Um, if you go now three miles south, in the southwest corner, is you have Clam Pass Park. So just a great, great park. And it actually has a tram system to be able to go out onto, you drive through um, mangrove like forest on those, on those wooden um, trails that are lifted up above the mangroves. It's really cool, really fun. I just did it actually a couple weeks ago. I was, I was filming the kind of the area for, for a client and I was showing them because they were looking in that area for home. I'm gonna see if I can find that video footage and I'll put it in here so you can see what I mean, but it's, it's really fun. And then just next to that on the, would be the south east corner is you have the waterside shop. So the waterside shops, man, you have Mercado and waterside shop. So people come from all over Naples to, to go to these high-end you know shopping centers. So in there you have a Saks Fifth Avenue, um, you have Barnes and Noble right there in the corner with the, the orange roof there in the corner. Um, there's a Tesla dealership in there where you can go in and design a Tesla. You've got Apple in there, Lululemon, some fine dining and other kinds of shops. And as you're walking in there, just beautiful kind of atmosphere with the fountains and all the water and stuff like that. So those are the four corners surrounding Pelican Bay. So it's just an amazing uh, location. So let's talk about taking Pine Ridge just a block down. So we're gonna head east just a little bit. And this would be the high school. And there's an elementary right in here, but this is Baron Collier High School. So there are the Cougars and right next door, if you're opting for a private school is you have the Community School of Naples, K through 12. Um, you know, it has a tuition about $3,000 a month. So it's almost like a college, um, you know, tuition for your little one. But if that's what you're looking for, they do have that as well. And I'm going to show you this just north of there. It wasn't part of my presentation, but just north of there is actually the church that we've been going to lately. We've been trying out different churches and we kind of end up settling on this one. It feels good and got a good vibe and we really like it. It's called First Naples. So that something that's close and then a part of the campus is they have the first baptist academy um k i believe it's k through 12 you know they have uh, sports there as well here you know football and baseball softball and stuff so i wanted to touch on that now let's kind of talk about some places to be able to go get some coffee maybe do a little bit of shopping so inside of mercado they've got a cool um coffee shop called the narrative great coffee shop there's actually two there's one in mercado and then there's one closer to where I live at uh, a community called 1111. And then your grocery shopping, you got, a, you got a few options. So Publix, if you're not familiar with Florida, Publix are everywhere. So that's your chain grocery store. But if you like different types, maybe a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods, just north, maybe it's up maybe half mile, mile is a Trader Joe's. And it's right next to a shopping center that has a Marshalls and a Hobby Lobby. Great place to be able to walk and kill some time there in Hobby Lobby. All right, so let's jump over to some restaurants. So I went to Rocco's Tacos Tequila Bar for my 51st birthday and really liked it. But if you, and I love Mexican food, it's my favorite. But if you want one that's even a little bit better, now it's nice. That's a nice place when you gotta put on, put on your fancy pants. But if you wanna just go out casual, right across the street, I'm gonna zero in right this building right here. Good Mexican joint, always full, always busy. That's a good way to know that your place has good, good food. Um, and then right in front of it is a Fleming Steakhouse. So when you're ready for that fancy dinner, that's a Fleming's right there, right in front. So you can essentially walk there from your residence in Pelican Bay. So let's talk about Pelican Bay and going inside. And I think is the most cool part of Pelican Bay. I like golf and you have just a beautiful golf course in there. So I have the ability to walk the golf course. I haven't played it yet. And if we do a deal and I become, and I end up representing you, we, and you join that golf course, you know, in that club, I want to become one of your best friends. <laughs> I want to play with you. So beautiful clubhouse, 50,000 square foot. And you go in and just 
views out over the water and the golf course is just absolutely stunning. But just imagine having, you know, this lifestyle here, 2015 Florida Golf Course of the Year, 27 holes, Arthur Hills design, private. So can't ask for much more than that. So I want to share that with you. Other things that you could be able to do if you're into the arts, so you have the Artist Naples and you have this museum here. It's currently going under a $150 million uh, renovation. So I'm not sure when it's scheduled to be done, but I can imagine the community is probably extremely excited for that to be able to uh, be completed. Home of the Naples Philharmonic, uh, different traveling uh, museum pieces and art show come, come through there. So it's just a wonderful place to have as part of the community of Pelican Bay. For those that like to work out, a couple options. One is your HOA, especially if you're one of those high rise buildings, they most likely will have a fitness center for you. If you're looking for a fitness center outside, I recommend this LA Fitness. So I work out here at this LA Fitness. It's a great one, um, very clean, great card, you know, good pieces. Uh, high ceilings, you got the racquetball and the basketball, and of course you got the you got the pool and stuff like that. But it just has a good feel and a good vibe. Uh, really enjoy that LA Fitness. I think it's nice, so it's worth checking out if you're into you know fitness. If you're looking for something a little more personal, like uh, team training classes, um, what's it called? Orange Theory Fitness is over at the Naples Mall, and that would be a, a good option as well. You're probably only 10 minutes from there but this is a great gym right across the street from Pelican Bay. Want to have even more fun than that? I want to just highlight there's a Sun and Fun Lagoon, a water park. So if you have family, friends coming down or you know little kids or something like that, so that'd be a great place to be able to take them. Um, baseball fields there, stuff like that. So if they end up you know playing and getting into a league, you might possibly have games there. Speaking of parks, I love parks, love dog parks, great walking parks, Pelican Bay, 88 acres of just parks and mangrove forest and all these things. So when you're in there, you got the, the blanketed trees over you and the shady mature landscaping and just wonderful trails and uh, tracks and to be able to take your dog. But there's the Pelican Community Park that's really nice. And it's got tennis uh, tennis courts. And it's got like a basketball court, some green greenery and stuff. So it's just a great place to be able to go and take your dog for that or be able to enjoy a walk for yourself. If you're into water and water sports, Obviously you got the, the beaches and you've got places to be able to dock your boat if you end up getting a boat. But if you like to canoe or kayak, you got a couple of options. One is right in your community of Pelican Bay. And you can go not too far away to um, like Fort Myers Beach, just above like Bonita Springs. You got Barefoot Beach up there, um, Bonita Beach, but there's some really cool kayaking and some trails, uh, you know, for that. But you got it right built in, right into your community. So really good there. And then I really just wanted to finish with the beach. You got this wonderful beach, white sand, and you've got your own private, you got your own private beach club with your own private uh, beach tram that you can hop onto and take you to the beach and, and stroll on over. And you got all those blues, all your different um, sunshades and lounge chairs and, and all that stuff for you. So anyhow, that is, uh, Pelican Bay, a little bit of an overview of Pelican Bay. The residents in here just give you a little bit of a feel from the real estate side currently right now in Pelican Bay. Give you a little bit of a different view here. <clears throat> Is uh, there's 28 homes for sale currently right now in Pelican Bay. Uh, a lot of diversity from low, mid, high rise condos. And then talk about all the diversity of different types of homes there. So it's a great place to, to start your search. The property prices start right now at 775,000 for about a two bedroom, two bath, call it 1300 square foot condo overlooking the golf course or maybe overlooking you know, one of the lagoons, all the way up to your single family residences, which are in the two, three, four, five, seven million. And then you get into the most expensive property right now in Pelican Bay. And we'll, let's see if we can get some pictures up, have the, uh, the editor put some pictures up of this particular property is about 5,500 square foot penthouse um, high rise building going for just over 11 million dollars. I think it's 11 million. Well, not just over. I think it's 11 million 700,000. But we'll put some pictures up so you can just see how 
how beautiful that is. So that's our tour of Pelican Bay. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, got a little bit more of a feel and understanding of Pelican Bay and any possibilities of you maybe taking a look. I highly encourage you to be able to do that. If you like the video, uh, please, you know, hit the like button. You know, I really appreciate that. Leave any comments, any questions that you may have. And don't be afraid, reach out. You can schedule a Zoom uh, meeting with me. Every day I have people reach out for me from all over the country, calling, texting, emailing me, asking questions about Naples. So possibly if I can help you make, make a smooth move here to Naples, Florida, I would be honored. We'll see you on the next one.